Okay, so the first aspect we have after this full moon will be sun opposing Mars. And that's going to Yeah, we've been talking about it. (laughs) Mm, mm. Yeah, it's kind of like the big aspect or the big, it's the planet that's drawing all the attention these last kind of couple of weeks and months. Um, we've been talking about it and I've been, I, I would listen to, um, Adam Ellen Bass mm-hmm. that, uh, with, cause Uranus is going to be going into that sign pretty soon. And, um, he was talking about a preview that this, this, this Mars stuff, wherever it's hitting in your chart and how it's affecting you. I didn't think Uranus was going into Gemini until for like four years. I thought it was I think it's like 2025 or something. Yeah. No, 2025. Oh, okay. really? 2026? Oh, I, I could get be it. wrong. <laughs> mm. Mm. But yeah, so whatever is, you know, uh, abrasive or itching you now mm-hmm. um, is, is going to be highlighted. <laughs> so look forward to it in a few years. <laughs> For well, eight yeah, years. because you know what it, is? it it gets you used to that energy. It it kind of um, mm-hmm. you know, uh, not really burns like the 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 crap off of you, but um, but just kind of gets you used to the that that kind of temperature, mm-hmm. or or that kind of movement, or you know, um, yeah, yeah, yeah it's interesting. Because I know, um, I know when Uranus went into Taurus, it was, you know, pretty, uh, you know, it was, it was, it was, um, it was disruptive for me because I'm a Taurus rising. So yeah. if you're a Gemini, if you're a Gemini and my, and my girlfriend, I have a, I have a, a friend who's a, a Gemini rising and very interesting watching, watching her go through, you know, all the, the things because this Mars is just, it, it it started, it went into Gemini, it's going retrograde in Gemini, and it's staying in Gemini during that whole entire Gemini, you know, that retrograde process. Yeah. And yeah. opposing the sun is, I would think, a little burning. Yeah. Yeah. Might be a day to watch for aggression. We were talking about that full moon, its culmination, it's with mars which is out of bounds it's retrograde uh it can't see its ruler at the moment i mean i'm not sure when mercury went to capricorn looks like uh the day before around about the 6th of december even though mercury was opposite it at least they could see each other and you know mercury as the host could kind of do something to help mars if needed now he's or it's in um capricorn it, it can't see it so it, it can't help um but yeah this could be just a tense kind of like just an irritable kind of having to redo things and you know you're in a hurry and you know it's always when you're in a hurry that you know you forget something you got to go back redo it just aggravating doesn't necessarily mean horrific or anything but just aggravating you know yeah and and when the host isn't there to help i mean it's 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 like walking into a brand new house and you know, you've got to make a, a dinner and you have no idea even where the can opener is. It's, yeah, yeah. 